And we welcome you to Pittsburgh, game three of a three-game series with the Pitt Panthers hosting the Louisville Cardinals. Louisville won the first game on Friday. It was a Friday doubleheader, three to two. Alyssa Zabala, complete game. Pitt got the second, nine, four. Cammy Thompson, the comp back full. And pitch is high and a leadoff base runner for the Cardinals. You know, Danny Ferris does throw that rise ball and you see that getting away from her a little bit. This year, eight home runs among the leaders in the conference in both categories and a ground ball to third. Throw over by George, now a quick throw back and safe at first base. Patience by George, good try on the turn. And the three two to Miller is outside. Called strike three, right on the corner. Couldn't have placed it much better than that. That's a great spot, especially on that. Up a hit and an unearned run only. And a pop-up. Thompson, it'll go behind her to the second baseman, Rodriguez. She puts it away. Louisville has a base runner, but unable to do any more damage. Complete game, she was dominant. And then it seemed like Pitt had a better feel for her in the second. A bunt down the line, throw over. Good play by the third baseman, Richardson. And one out. Walked four times this year, facing a 1-2 count. And grounds one to the shortstop, Hess. And Hess quickly over and two outs, bottom of the first. It's so fun to watch. And a check swing did not go. And the Panthers' first base runner. And if you're Pitt, what you want to do is, but that's what makes her so successful is her ability to work different parts of the zone. And the second straight walk here with two outs. And Esparza is up. And there is a little pop-up to the third baseman, Richardson, and that'll do it for the Panthers here in the first field. <laughs> Top of the second inning, one thing that isn't debatable is the Panthers pitching, which has been a bugaboo for them, has been good through this series and good through the first inning as the ball is lined to center and Griggs able to put it away. And, you know, Coach Allard told us one of their goal steps back and making adjustments, and she said that the women have been so receptive of it, and she thinks that they're going to be more successful as it goes on because of that. Ball to short, throw over. And Ferris hits her on a 3-2 pitch. Wouldn't have mattered either way. Trusting your hands and knowing, look, I can get my hands to the ball, especially if it's inside. Paige Garrity now with a runner on. A pop-up to the third baseman, George. And that'll do it for Louisville in the top of the second inning. It's a ballless pitch. It's again, one of those looping fly balls caught by the third baseman Richardson. And ball four, third walk of the game. One out here in the... I think that you're seeing Pitt doing that. They've got to see Zabala for a bunch of at-bats in games one and two, so they kind of know what pitches that they can hit and what pitches they need to lay off of. And they're really working her deeper in counts, so much so that even if they're not getting hits, they're getting on base via walks. Mari Braden is the pinch runner at first last pitch as well showing bunt pulling back that little looper is going to be caught by the center fielder Winkler what a nice catch in center field because now instead of first and second one out you have runner on first two outs and a line drive into left field past the third baseman and ball has the Panthers first hit up in that box And Griggs is hit. Now base is loaded. See Louisville shaded a little bit to the left field side. 1-1 one, one pitch. And that's a little looper again right at the third baseman. Richardson puts it away and that'll do it. Especially as a freshman, you're not sure where you're going to stand, right? So have a good defensive catch. Have a good at bat. Every little opportunity, make the most of it. 
off the end of the bat. Hernandez puts it away, one out. Another pop-up. Rodriguez puts that away, two outs. Well, what was the thing that we talked about with Danny Ferris? Her and a ball high. We've seen a lot of two-out walks for both of these teams today. 2-0 pitch, and that is hit into left center field and off the glove of the shortstop. And there'll be runners at first and third. Hernandez from Danny Ferris. Strike three call. Danny Ferris couldn't have placed that ball more perfectly right on the inside part of the plate. That's a workhorse. She's just been confident. She has really carried this Volvo team. Cat Rodriguez leading off for the Panthers. Pop up to short. Hess calls for it and puts it away. One pitch, one out. First with the three, four, five of your order. A one pitch is waited on and lined into right center field. Lined so hard, it's going to be a single for Cammie Thompson. Usually when you hit the ball in the gap, that's at least a double, but that was such a laser. All the way around, you're going to hit home runs galore. And there is a ground ball off the end of the bat. Flip to Hess. Hess just had no chance to turn the double play. Count two outs. And there is a ground ball to Hess. And Hess's throw is perfect. And that'll do it through three innings. We have three hits, but no runs yet. We had a couple of runs, been hit by a pitch a couple of times. And behind in the count, 0-2. And, and grounds it to third. George up with it cleanly and one out. Different to create base runners for your team. And a pop-up right up the chute. And good play. But I mean, you never actually got the game in when it was supposed to be in the spring. A high pop-up. And the shortstop, Hernandez, calls for it and puts it away. One, two, three, go. The Cardinals, top of the fourth. Three, two. Is outside, ball four. She was patient. She fouled off pitches, just worked her way on base, throwing with all that speed and spin. So what's your mindset here now in the box? And swing and a miss. Good high heat from Zabala. Be aggressive. Try a couple different things. 2-1 is bunted down the third baseline and not even a look down to second as Richardson fires over. And two outs now with a runner at second base. I called for trying something different. I, I like. She's really up on the plate. The 0 1 is lined at the shortstop. Hess on a short hop, the throw over, and that'll do it for the Panthers. And Thatcher has done a nice job of that this year. 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. And the runner is on for one of the leading hitters in the ACC in Daisy. So I, I wouldn't be coming right down the middle here with this one. And ball four, and now Riley Frizzell is up with two on and one out here in the fifth. And a high fly ball to center, a ninth home run, just a bomb to center field by Riley Frizzell, and Louisville takes a 3-0 lead. You want to talk about a pretty pitch that you can drive. That was exactly what it was right down the center part of not panic. One out, three runs in, and there is a line drive to center field. Back-to-back -back homers. Vanessa Miller, a solo homer. It's now 4-0 Louisville. This ball was right over the plate as well. Miller just going right back up the middle with it. It looked like um, but I'm only speculating. I don't really have an answer, so I'll stop the speculation now. <laughs> and a walk to Holloway. And the 3-2 is a deep fly ball to left and gone. 
Third home run of the inning, a three-run shot for Bailey Richardson. It's 7-0 Louisville. Bailey Richardson hits this home run because of the way that she worked that count. She took balls and swung at strikes. She fouled her to kick in, and you see it kicking in here right now. 2-2, two, two, strike three called. So far by Holly April for the most part this inning has worked though. And there is a ground ball to the second baseman Rodriguez throw over and that'll do it. But a productive fifth inning as also the second game of a doubleheader. This game was tied until Louisville exploded for seven runs in the top of the inning and a quick ground out here for Macy Hamilton here in the fifth for Pitt. I feel like she's the kind of player that just is the same throughout. And there's a line drive into center field for a base hit for Kat Rodriguez. Hit it too hard, otherwise it would have been a double. And there's a ground ball through the right side for a base hit. So consecutive singles for the Panthers. Brooke Gray, the lefty, is warming up for Louisville in the bullpen. And much easier to fit underneath helmets, I have to say. And a pop-up. And catching it is the third baseman, Richardson. Had to be some communication. You could see it right away. Richardson's mine, 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 mine. And was able to put that away. And there is a ball hit right at Hess. So after those back-to-back -back hits, a couple of pop-ups. The different pitchers that she's had to catch. And the one-two. And a strikeout. It's actually three strikeouts in the one it. Two-two pitch. And it was right there and lined to the second baseman. So we know Hess can go out and get him. <laughs> For sure. And, you know, a lot of people do stand off the plate because they like the mental toll that that's going to take going through an ACC season is so tough. And ball four to Frizzell. And a hard hit ground ball. It's short, bobbled a bit, gathered, thrown over, and in time for the out. So Hernandez able to grab it back up. As you mentioned, fatigue may have been playing a factor that was a double header. There's a ball that's going to drop fair by Tuta. Tuta couldn't have thrown that in there any more perfect. Up. She's squaring up right now on a 2-2 pitch and then hits that to Alexander and the first out of the inning. It's interesting. Some hitters do that because they think he can throw a little bit. Manageable wind. I don't have to wear 25 layers. And from her knees... Kylie Goff gets Jackson, who has said she's not afraid and stopped <laughs> I, I, <laughs> of any of it. Really, I agree. And that's where that's... And they were going to have to run if they didn't find... <laughs> I, I, it might not have been number 36. That's just the first number that popped into my head. But Speaking of pop, they pop up. Zabala is going to put that one away right in front of the Panther dugout. We head to the seventh. It's the Cardinals holding a 7 nothing lead was pulled in that fifth after two batters. That ball lined up the middle base hit. Stefanoni struck out four. I was so impressed by Ferris. She did a really good job because I, she really. A plateau, for lack of better term. <laughs> and that is hit into the gap and deep and gone. Bailey Richardson, her second home run of the game. It's nine nothing Cardinals. And this one just a beauty to right center field. Exactly how you want to hit an outside pitch. Just going with it, keeping the weight on the back. Now Paige Garrity. Four. And there is a line drive into center field. That's going to get all the way to the wall. Holly April is going to send Goff the throw home, the slot, no slide, and out at the plate. Throw home. There's a high fly ball to center field. That's going to stay in the infield. Shortstop puts it away. So Hernandez gets the second out. And you see how... 
Another pop-up. This time George is going to catch it. So Louisville adds on two more. And the ground ball, Alexander, quick throw over. Good stretch by Frizzell and one out. That's a tough hop for Alexander because you don't know if you should. Morris on Tuesday and then at Boston College and just lifting that into right field for a base hit. Cat Rodriguez, her second consecutive single. So going back to what we were talking about before of just things that you could take away. And a ground ball ends up a double play that will end this game. So if you're take it from the Louisville side, you, you're you win last game because the bats showed up as you've been asking them to for about a week now. So I think that you kind of roll off of this. You're going to go play a tough team in the ACC. Looking pretty good for the Cardinals. Frizzell, Miller, and Richardson hit homers. A 9-0 win as Louisville takes the series two games to one. Thanks to our, outs our outstanding crew.